Son, let's get you tucked in. Okay, Daddy. You know, son, I'm really proud of you. You did the right thing today. I'm gonna take you with you. <laughs> Nonviolence is always the best way to deal with bullies and thieves. Daddy, why was that kid so mean to me? Why do people hate me and call me names? People don't hate you. You see, son, you're a lot like myself. You have a big heart where the light of truth dwells. But sometimes when your light shines the brightest, it exposes those things in people that they want to keep in the dark, and it causes them pain. Well, so rather than have those dark places exposed, they try and put your light out to ease their own pain. By hurting me? Yes, son, even by hurting you. But always remember, let a smile be your shield. Good night, son. Will you read me a story? <sighs> okay. You want me to read you something from The Lion King? No. Mm. What about the Chronicles of Narnia? I want you to read me the story about the Happy Prince. What's that? It's a story in this book I checked up from the library. The Happy Prince and Other Tales by Oscar Wilde. Please. Hmm. Fairy tales for children like people. Hmm. The Happy Prince. High above the city on a tall column stood the statue of the Happy Prince. He was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes he had two bright sapphires, and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt. as beautiful as a weathercock. Only not quite so useful.
somebody in this world's quite happy. He looks like an angel. How would you know? Have you ever seen one? Uh-huh. In our dreams. Nonsense. Dreaming won't put shoes on your feet or food in your bellies. Only hard work and learning how to read and write. It's the only thing that will get you anywhere in life. city a little swallow. His friends had gone to Egypt six weeks before, but he had stayed behind, for he was in love with the most beautiful reed. He had met her early in the spring as he was flying down the river after a big yellow moth. He had been so attracted to her slender waist that he had stopped to talk to her. Shall I love you, said the swallow, who liked to come to the point at once, and the reed made him a low bow. My son is a precious thing. My son. <laughs> 